Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to the ride shop. Uh, or not. Anyway, I've been promising and teasing that I'm going to build a new stand. I'm going to build it on camera. I was out here working on some other stuff anyway. It's windy. Lighting's not great. But I'm going to show you, hopefully, how to build this. Um, I was going to build a prototype and then figure it all out and then build one on camera for you. But where's the fun in that? So I decided to, uh, I got a rough idea of what I want. It's gonna be a little bigger than this. It's gonna be a whole lot more features in it. Um, so yeah, stick around. Okay, so the plan is to build this out of less than a half sheet of birch plywood that you can pick up at Home Depot or Lowe's. You can go to the project center and they have the half sheets. Uh, you're gonna need a skill saw, obviously, of some sort. You're gonna need, um, I'm gonna have to take this call. Okay, I'm back, had to take that call. I was a client from Arizona, bought a couple of rides, going to Stu Mark for Christmas. Not gonna get them until after, but, and there's plane flying over, so. We are gonna have some challenges with this today um, from an audio and a lighting issue, possibly, but I'm gonna make the best of it. Today we're gonna be doing the dirty stuff out here. So, cutting the pieces, getting everything laid out, I'm uh, doing some glue up, so you're going to need some plywood, you're going to need some glue, you're going to need some basic skills. Um, you'll need a drill and a drill bit. You'll uh, maybe a jigsaw um, to do it safely. I'm going to use a router on some things, but those are going to be kind of optional. And, I, and I'll show you another way that you can do it without uh, that. But I'm going to try to put some bells and whistles on this thing. Hopefully, um, it turns out to be as multifunctional and as sweet as it can be. This is a hand wrapper and a building stand. So let's get going. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is, like, like I said, we're going to do the dirty stuff. So I'm going to cut this plywood and I will, I will actually give you guys maybe some build plans or at least make them available to members for free. Um, like I said, a half a sheet of bir Baltic birch plywood is all you're gonna need, about 20 bucks. We're gonna go to Home Depot later today and, uh, and buy some bolts and some other miscellaneous stuff like the felt and some other things that I don't have yet. I can't get my knife in my pocket, there we go. But let's get started. Um, I'm going to do my best to talk to you when I'm doing something important, but a lot of this is going to be time lapse. Um, so this video is not five hours long. Um, I know you guys like me, but not that much. Um, so let's get going. All right, so we're at 40 inches overall. The stands, this one had some pegs and some holes but they never stayed really tight it was a little wobbly and i didn't like that the new one i'm gonna build with uh some max fit micro jig hardware and a dovetail groove or you can do it with t-track which is the stuff i have built in my workbench here just takes a quarter 20 bolt and you can bolt stuff down you can also bolt things together but i'm going to use this one as a pattern like i said i'll come up with a sketch, plan, something along those lines <clears throat> um, for you guys, but let's get at it here. So that's about it's eight and a quarter tall, and I like that height above so I can really work on stuff. I'm going to stay with that length, so let's get some dust control out here. All right, so we're gonna do eight and a quarter times two. The other thing else. Trucks everywhere. Ah, they're replacing poles in the neighborhood today. Great. 
All right, so the other thing we're going to do is I'm going to make it usable with the dryer stand so it can be a dryer, function as a dryer stand as well. So we'll get that figured out later. Okay, so next project is going to be, you can either cut three quarter by half, or there's basically a dado. Um, you can do that with a skill saw, you just have to keep moving your fence over and over and over, and that's a pain. So I'm going to do it with a router, even though I know you guys probably don't have one. Uh, I've, got, I've got one, so I'm going to use it. So i got to figure out where I want my groove to be. So I want these to stand about right there. So, actually, I'm going to build it backwards because I want them to stand there. Which that's going to be. challenge with my fence. Let me get my router out.
Yeah, I'm shooting video, but yeah. Oh, you're really? Oh, I'm just chilling in the rod shop and working on my rod while I answer calls. I'm, I'm, yeah, that's fine. Cool. Okay. What are you yeah. doing? I'm building a wrapper. Okay. That hand wrapper. All right. Okay, now that I got that done, how this is going to work, is these stands are now adjustable. And the rod will be here so you can work on it. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put another groove and so I can have a loop or a hook for handling thread so when this becomes your hand wrapper there'll be a little bit of a carriage now it's not going to roll it's just going to slide but you'll be able to set up and then move your rod just a few times you can be able to move down and do different guides and then set your rod up and do it again so anyway i'm gonna keep piddling with this y'all stick around This is my rod. This is going to be a thread carriage. And then we're going to have 
there'll be spool tension devices here I found the springs online the conical springs I still got to go to Lowe's and get the right length bolts for the thread spools and to get through probably do that at a half I've got some scrap half inch laying around I don't need to add any weight it's not going to really be holding any strength anything structural but there'll be a couple places for thread carriage back here with a tightening adjustment somewhere and then on the front there will be I have some cup hooks I know I've got them in a drawer in there somewhere I have to find them would be here so your thread would come off the spool tensioner through the cup hook and then over your rod and then you hand wrap so I know it's not quite there yet but this is how my brain works. I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me while I'm designing as I go. But I thought it'd be more realistic to show you how the crazy goes on in my brain because you guys have asked and have some interest in the mad scientist part. Well, this is how it goes. I get an idea. I draw up a couple sketches. I get my tools out. And then uh, who knows what happens after that. So sometimes good things happen. Sometimes not so much. I waste a bunch of time. But I think this is going to be really cool. Um, this birch plywood is beautiful. Just 150 grit sandpaper. And I just hit it really lightly. Um, all I did was knock the sharp edges off. Because this stuff does splinter. And it will slice your fingers up. I've got several to prove that over the last few days. But I think it's coming along. Um, the only other thing that we're going to have to build is... Basically, we're going to need to build a stool for the dryer. So we'll build a platform so that this comes up to this elevation. And all you'll have to do is clamp or screw your dryer that you already have, your dryer motor, to the, the base that we build. And this whole thing now is a dryer stand. So you've got... You take this off, you take this off. Um, I do have some ideas, and you guys let me know what you think about this, but one thing I've always wanted on my other one is an end stop that's removable. So I haven't figured out how I want to do that yet. Um, there's a couple different ways to make that happen, but again, I'm still working on that. I don't have this thing completely flushed out yet, but I'll, I'll probably work on that about 3 o'clock in the morning when I'm sitting here drinking my first cup of coffee before I make noise and, and irritate my neighbors. Um, so I'll have that figured out by tomorrow, and we will get, hopefully get this thing pretty much wrapped up tomorrow. Um, I do have to make a low strip and get some parts and pieces, but I'll probably knock that out this evening or maybe first thing in the morning. So anyway, guys, that is the hand wrapper slash build stand slash dryer stand part one thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow you can come on in there okay come on back in the over stand over there somewhere okay. oh and for those that are still here this was the other project i was working on this is rudolph this is comet he's got a whole bunch of friends and santa and a sleigh that's still in the sun over there that's going on the dock later anyway <laughs> Derek's been working in a rod shop itself finishing up the wrapping trying to get that done for you guys yeah. I'm, the, I'm the third project down the street and he's still working on getting me there so. yeah he, he might get there he's out of power so I told you they were doing poles and so he's got no power so he came over here he's working in a rod shop get that finished because the next time he's on camera we're going to be doing labels mm -hmm. and finish epoxy yep so yep. anyway thanks for watching guys I'll see you next time have a good day Thank you.